Hello there guys and good evening, it is Wednesday night and yes, it, we are here at Blue Moon Bay for the final rounds of the Mugen Masters. I'm your host for one and only Hoppers, doing the commentary as alongside me is Will, so good evening to Will. Good evening to you too Andy, how have you been? I've been alright mate, how have you been? So, as I say, it is the final round of the Mugen Masters, mate, and this season, it, like, like like we were saying before, can't believe we're already at the final round. Yeah, it's shot past very quickly each, but even if you, if you look back at the races that have happened, you can sort of pinpoint one sort of standout moment for each one. Exactly. So, in this um, Catalonia last week, we had, we had that um mistake from Ryan McVeigh that arguably got him the championship, he hasn't shown up tonight. Uh, San Kamal, we had um, Top Holland's brilliant double overtake for the lead. Uh, yeah, we've had lots of action all through the season, and hopefully we can keep it going for the rest of for, for tonight. Yeah. And obviously it's blue, blooming bay on the B circuit, and there's only, as we were saying, there's only five corners, so there's not, there's not really a long lap round here, so they're probably going to get potentially quite some good long running this evening, and potentially it's going to be a bit of, I'm going to say a bit of bump drafting like you do in NASCAR, trying to get that create a pocket for the airflow to go basically over your car, but it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Yeah, especially on tracks like these where it's mainly full to not not very many corners, but um, because of that, you, there might be a sense of um, a sense of oh, I've got the word now. Um, it's just sort of trying to see, trying to get the advantage over others. Um, strategy, that's what it is. The strategies, yeah, yeah. strategies, yeah. yeah. Shall I take this guy now, or shall I wait until later on in the race? Where they you might have less opportunities to get back past you. Of course. So, so obviously, like we said, we had obviously Catalonia last week, which was the penultimate round of the championship, and argumentatively, and you know, it was kind of, kind of not. Well, to, to us, it was kind of was like thinking what was going on, and obviously after after the race the races unfold you know Ryan Mavayant found himself in a whole lot of heap of bother with the stewards and you know it's it's one of them and, and it does take its toll unfortunately it's cost him a driver's championship and you know we did think throughout obviously the championship itself he was one of the contenders obviously yeah okay he's had, he had a few issues there and then but he still managed to claw himself back up to potentially get up to there but unfortunately it's cost him dearly yeah he's uh, he's a good 26 points behind Gareth Morris now in the championship down in third position he, he's just been overtaken by um, Timothy Gill in a blue and orange car so it really does look like his Championship uh, hopes and dreams have gone down the toilet. Yeah, which, which which is a bit very unfortunate because obviously you know, like as we said, he was doing so well, but he he need, he needs to learn from that when he come if he comes back and just potentially move on from it. But yes, okay, we know there's there's a lot of things ongoing, but it's it's not the best. And you know, I did kind of feel like well, you know, we did know he was going to go to the stu he was going to go to the stewards as we said on stream. But you know you can't you can't just guarantee that you're gonna get nine times out of ten get away with it because there, there is incidences that could have easily been so easily avoided if he'd stuck to what the original plan. But obviously, you know I know what racing the drivers are like. I know what it's like myself. I've been there, done that, and you got fired up and potentially, you know, you do silly things when you get fired up. And yeah, it's ultimately it's cost him the championship. And you know, it's obviously now Gareth's potentially he's got it sewn up regardless what happens tonight so you know it's going to be one of them yeah uh, he's been he was heavily utilised he, um, he was banned from the first race of BTC Silver last Friday night so just goes to show that if you do silly stuff like that the, the group isn't mucking about and we will have to bring down harsh penalties on those who do silly things like that. Like, exactly. You know, 
Well, he isn't a slow driver, is he? He's no, he's... He, he, yeah, he, 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 shows, he shows exactly the consistency what you want for a championship winning. But, you know, exactly. just, 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 just quickly going, touching on to it before we move on for tonight. You know, it, it's not like it's rocket science, but I think the way he was feeling, I think he kind of got fired up because, yes, he had technical difficulties. But, you know, you can't just bring that into technicality and you can't just have that as the excuse to be like, oh, well, you know, championship's over. You know, you need to have the right frame of attitude because, as, as you know, sometimes just watching on some of the cars like on track now, these cars aren't the easiest to drive and these cars can be quite a handful to get used to. But, you know, you've got to show your right character. You've got to show your right strength and weaknesses. Yeah, of course, we get that. But you know, it's cost it's cost him the championship and I'll tell you what he would have he probably would have put it on the money if he had, if he was here this evening, he probably would have given it his all time shot. Yeah, the best the best drivers are adaptable. We saw him saw last season he, he we ought to have been very sympathetic to this, uh, very flat out, uh, banked, uh, and he had to dominate both ways one and two. So we know he, he is adaptable, as, as um, Gareth Morris is as well. Yeah. He's quite good in the conditions. But, um, but he's just got to learn to keep the emotions under control, and then he really will be a, a title contender for not, even, not just the NSXs, but for the BTCC too. Yeah, of course. And, and from what I'm, what I'm kind of gathering, hopefully, this evening, is that, you know, it's going to be potentially anything can happen. It's like Broad Bean, as we said, Broad, Broad Bean um, last season, it was potentially going to be one of them. Uh, potentially, it could be anything. It could open up a huge can of worms if someone makes a mistake here. But you, you never know. And obviously, the point factor will go into it very shortly. But obviously, it's going to be one of them. And hopefully, you know, round here, it's only potentially five corners but it's not really there's margin for error yes you've got the concrete wall on either side but going into the last part of the course towards obviously the last bit of the banking it's, it's very easily to clip the wall on that side and potentially crash out yeah you see lots of drivers and all drivers making plenty of laps to get used to the uh these all braking zones in but the first glance is a very basic track but that turn one is an absolute nightmare the way it just throws you down onto the the apron it just really badly unsettles the car and especially when you the chassis that is this car this yeah. NSX is so oversteering when you uh -huh. come off the throttle well that's the thing you go into you go into turn number one and you're straight away onto the infield you're not going yeah, round exactly. the banking one one hundred percent round the banking you're going from obviously kind of a banking it down to hill down down onto the infield and potentially it's the slippiest bit and yes we're going to get drivers that are going to bump draft and that's going to be a major factor coming into obviously turn number one and potentially the latter part of the stages obviously you know you're straight away you're not 100 percent going around the banking and basically you're just going to go throw yourself onto the infield it's going to be very hard, especially with penalties around here as well. Yeah, those you, the more penalties may may come into play. Um, just even a tap can really ruin your lap. So even even if the game decides that you didn't hit it hard enough to to earn yourself a penalty, that but the game physics itself will really badly penalise you and slow you down. You don't really bounce off the wall, or you just get slowed down in incredible amounts. Yeah, of course, and, and this this is the thing, you know, I've I've raced, probably not on this layout, but I've raced around here before, and it, the undulations of the banking and potentially some of the some of the corners around here, you know, it doesn't matter what layout you are on here, it, 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 like we say, it's the wall penalties that are going to potentially kick you in the nuts, because it's going to be one of them but you know what's the point situation going into this evening because yes we've got obviously like we say we've got Ryan McVeigh missing but what is it looking likely for the rest of the grid so for the, the top we've obviously got uh, Gareth Morris <coughs> who's 25 points ahead of Timmy Gill on 200 points 
Uh, Gale is on 175, but the bay is only a point behind him on 174. With Adam Morgan and Craig Thomas uh, tied for points at 4th and 5th with 143 points. Lee Fitzy in 6th with 134 points. Dean Atkinson is 7th, who took a brilliant win last, last time out. Race 2 with 105 points. Brian Ross was 78 in 8th. We've got Darren Baldwin in 9th, who's also taken over this season. 77. Scott Fenton in 53, he only showed up for one race. He's still outscoring Tom Holland in 11th with 50 points. Neil Smell and Bruno Batik have both scored 33 points. Neil obviously hasn't been the fastest guy out on track, but he's been he's definitely been consistent with his good reverse mid starts. Yeah. His male memory, he's only taken part the last two weeks on 25 points, a good showing from him. Chris Wheatley on 11, and Ben Smith on 2 points. Yeah, so obviously, as we as we say, it's going to be very interesting. As we, as you said, we've got obviously the likes of Craig, Craig Thomas and of course Adam Morgan tied for points, and that's going to be, that's going to be very amazing to see what happens between them two because not only is it tied for points, but it's going to be very close because whatever happens between one of the two of them, one's going to have to either finish fourth or fifth. You know, it could be it could go either way. Yeah, even if the battle at the top seems to have been done and dusted, there's still plenty of battles up and down the field. Exactly. With, yeah. uh, Adam Morgan and Craig Thomas on equal points. That's going to be a real good, interesting battle to see. Yeah, and it's, it's going to be very interesting, as, we, as you say, with the, the uh, reverse grids, especially with Neil Smale, because not only... Is, I've, I've obviously talked to Neil during the week, but weeks up to this, and... He's saying I, I do well in the reverse grid, but is it all or nothing? But um, um, is it going to be potentially going to be very amazing, or is he going to end up doing one or other? But you know, I'm just going to see what goes on, mate. But um, hopefully, he does very well. You know, he says to me, he panics a bit, but he'll improve. So yeah, you know, we all, we all, obviously, we all know the sort of mindset that he gets especially um, I've I don't know what he means when I was quite young just yeah, uh, yeah. Is a bit of a buzzer, yeah just bear with I'll just, I'll just see whether it's mine but um oh, man, I forgot what I was saying now. oh that was it yeah just being young and being on uh online racing is it's not the same as just going out on track with a bunch of computer driven cars you've got to consider their races too and if you worry that you're going to take someone else out or something like that or make a massive mistake because the, the stakes are higher it, it really can get to you but you, once you get used to it you can really get it under control and just focus and it all sort of comes to you naturally Okay, well just try, just try me, because I don't know whether it's me or not, that's buzzing, so I'll have a look. I think it is, I'll, I'll have a look on the stream, I'll just mute myself and I'll check. So let's have, let's have a look and let's have a listen to me, whether it, whether it is me guys, I do apologise, um, hopefully... Uh, just double check, because obviously we don't want to be... Um, Having issues. Oh, it's me. Okay, two ticks. Uh, looks like uh, qualifying is about to begin soon. Uh, it's currently uh, 22 minutes, or oh, 22, oh, can't do maths, 16 minutes, there we go. So, um, yeah, it looks like I'll have to commentate on the, the qualifying, uh, technical difficulties on Andy's behalf, uh, unfortunate. Well, at the moment it looks like Lee Fix is the fastest time. 
only driver here to get into the normal 50. And we've just done 50 seconds time. With uh, Timmy in second, with uh, only 11 hundredths behind. Moz in third. Nemery in fourth. Tom Holland in fifth. He's had a good, good start to this evening. He's only, the top five are just separated by around ten. It's brilliant to see. It, it probably is just down to the nature of the track, but it is it's quite nice to um, quite nice to see. He's been nice as brilliant racing. But just going down the field as well. Bastian in was seventh and eighth. Uh, only four tenths behind. It's a good showing from him. It's going to be fantastic to see how he does. Adam Morgan only six and a half tenths behind uh, Lee as well. Let's have a look where he finishes this lap. Looks like a solid lap. Three tenths. Brilliant to see. It's like Darren, he's only just come out of the pit, so um, it's quite hard to tell who's where he is. But, um, Okay, I don't know if my mic is going to buzz in, but I've just swapped headsets, so we'll just double check. Um, if it is, guys, just let us know, because I'm obviously having a bit of issue technical difficulties this evening. But, um, I hope... Yeah. Um... Right, I'll change it. <laughs> Uh, we'll get a we'll qualifying on the way. Let's, let's have a look. Everyone seems to be uh, everyone's entered. All eleven drivers. We'll see all eleven drivers, but eleven of the fourteen. So, so we're going to kick off now. Everyone's going to be come out rushing to come out the pits. They all want the slipstream. So the guys towards the back will definitely have the advantage of the whole the NSX chip hole punched into the air for them which means they're going to have less air resistance or less drag and then they're just going to have a lot of advantage on the streets so it looks like Bastion's come out of the pits ahead of everyone else it's got a solid gap but that's that's definitely going to come down due to slipstream he heads into turn two on this, this ridiculously massive bridge over this, this lake. It's got a very sharp left or right hander. If you really want to keep to the right side and then into this this hard left hander, it can throw you into the wall. That's, if you hit that, it's really going to ruin your run down onto the start finish straight. So let's see how he does. He exits the last corner. He gets up to the right side of the, the track, lets you open up. For that really horrible turn one. 153 miles per hour on each, 154, taking it nice and nice and easy. Gets good exit up onto the wall. Doesn't let the banking unset this car too much. And to turn two, throws it in completely flat out from here until turn four. just before the 100 meter board, look at that Timmy and Tom Holland have instantly caught up with him. That just goes to show how incredibly strong that slipstream is. So we run the final corner, let's see what time's saying, see what benchmark they're setting for the rest of the field. Look, Timmy's already trying to pass him. Fifty point nine already from Timmy, that's fantastic to see. Nemery up into first already with a fifty point eight. Moz with another 50.8, less than two thousandths ahead of ahead of Baldwin now, who's really close behind him. It doesn't look like either of these two drivers or Dean Atkinson are going to make any any roads on there on this lap, as they all seem to be quite bunched up. Lee Fitzy setting a one minute of a 51.0, two two tenths ahead of Brian Ross, with three tenths ahead of uh, Adam Morgan in eighth. Craig seems to be struggling at the moment, only seven tenths behind. But now Bastion is down in, down in last. He's really going to want to keep up with Nemery and, and Craig Thomas. Top Mars is keeping to the left to break the slipstream. He's going to pit, go to into the pits. Osman makes inroads with a 51.5. Puts him in eighth position at the moment. 
Adam Morgan taking a 51.5. That's good enough for ninth. There's a huge train of cars now on the back straight over this huge bridge. We've got Nemery, Baldwin, Atkinson and Ross and a huge train. And they're behind Bastion too. So it looks like Ross is really gonna have a, a cheeky little advantage. Top six are only separated by less than a tenth. 0.095 back to Ross. But look at this, Adam Morgan now on the back of Ross. Neither of them seem to be able to in, to better their time. So we've got, at the moment, with six minutes left on the clock, we've got Gareth Morris on provisional pole, two thousandths ahead of Darren Baldwin, who's had a very spotty sort of uh, results showing this this season. He had a win back in Suzuka in race two, but since then he's been quite quiet in the mid grid, giving up a good fight to the likes of Tom Holland, especially last week. Ismail Nemery in third, Timmy in a fourth, the the second place man in the standings. He's really going to be give, going all out to see if he can close that gap down to from Gareth Morris, maybe even challenge him for the for the title. We've got 60 points on offer tonight, only 25 between the pair. Okay, I might have sorted it. Just uh, let me know if it is buzzing. <coughs> yeah, that's a lot better. There's no, no buzzing. That's better. <laughs> I do apologise. I must have obviously had a bit of issue with headsets, but um, as Will says, you know, uh, we've got Gareth Morris on pole position so far with uh, Darren Baldwin in second, along with Dean Atkinson now up into third place. But, you know, anything can happen. Uh, but uh, it will be potentially very interesting so obviously qualifying is looking pretty much exciting Will and yeah, now it's the top 7 only within a tenth of each other 0.095 Tom Holland up into 6th now he's just sitting in the pits he's going to come out now Brian Ross on another outlap as well Lee Fitzy not been able to improve on his time, he's got a huge gap to the next guy in front of him, so that's yep. not going to be much good. So that's going to be... Yeah. He's going to have to win it with four minutes to go. So, obviously, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Obviously, you know, traffic around here, even though this is just qualifying at the moment, is going to be a lot of factors comp to compare to... Obviously, the likes of Catalonia, Suzuka, and of course Mount Fuji. But as we know, racing is going to be tight, and it's going to be very interesting, especially just watching Tom Holland out on his outlap, on his obviously second outlap. I believe he's just changed tyres just to get some a bit more grip into obviously the brakes and everything. But we'll see what happens within obviously uh, three minutes and thirteen seconds to go. But so far, Gareth's got pop provisional pole position, just in case uh, you're wondering. And obviously, you've got Darren Baldwin in second at the moment. He's doing, he's, he's doing ever so well. Um, just have a look at what's happening further back. You've got uh, Neil Smell at the tail of the field at the moment. He's probably, he's probably just taking it easy because, as we said before, there's um, obviously a few places margin for error, and it potentially could be just... You know, he's probably trying to stay out of trouble just in case. But, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens uh, come the end of qualifying. But at the moment, obviously, the top three are quite interesting with Gareth Morris from Darren Baldwin from Dean Atkinson and, of course, Ismail Nemery. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, you got Timmy fifth at the moment as well, so that's going to be very interesting. Yeah, the championship, one of the potential championship winners only half a tenth and any other track this that's still insanely close but here you could you could times that gap by by five or ten 
It's about half a second almost to in comparison to any other track. Yeah. He really needs to find someone to to follow for the rest of for in the next one minute fifty seconds. Exactly, and, that, and that's and you know it's going to be very interesting to see what happens because not many of the cars that are obviously in the air, obviously to some that are getting close, but they're not really 100% in the in the airflow, getting a bump draft. You know, they're trying to obviously find their own air, but they're also trying to find a way to improve the lap time, which uh, Ismail jumps into pit lane at the moment, but whether he comes out to start another lap it'll be yet to seem to be remained but obviously at the moment you've got um obviously also timmy's dived into pit lane but you know it doesn't matter these the guys know what they're doing they've obviously got a strategy going potentially to see what happens for race number one so we'll see what happens but at the moment uh Darren's doing a good job in second place to keep it going. He probably wants to push on a bit, you know. But Moore's feeling confident about his time there. One minute fifty. Uh, oh, I keep saying one minute. <laughs> it's because you're used to it, mate. It's because you're used yeah, to it. He's feeling quite confident that no one can can better his time. No one can catch him with half. Yeah. yeah. So, so obviously Gareth feels really confident and probably much more better thinking well no one's going to beat me with obviously 19 seconds to go but it, anything can happen obviously in this all important last qualifying session of the season so you know as I say it could anything can happen here and anything can potentially go wrong but you know I'm not going to put the commentator's curse on anyone because you know I don't want to do that but it's going to be very interesting to see what happens People up to the final corner can Darren Bolden better Gareth's time. Ooh. Can do it? No, no we can't. Sadly not. But never mind, he's got a good 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 chance of winning the race from second place on the grid, so it'd be very much interesting to see what happens. Anyone can really win this these races it's going to play for like everyone's gonna be so close together. Indeed. Uh, I guarantee the lead will change a good few times. So let's so see. Gareth Morris on the front row of the grid, followed by Darren Baldwin in second. I think a lot of best class safety rate drivers, so it should be a clean race. Mm -hmm. Very close. Which, let's face it, it will be. Oh, it'll be, clo it'll be close and personal. You watch it. <laughs> But we're getting, ready, we're, getting, we're getting ready for a start. We have some building. Uh, there's quite a bit of a. I don't know whether it, getting a good start. Yes, he has. He's already alongside. He's up into fourth, but he's he's on the bit of the dirty side of the track at the moment. Yeah. Outside of Atkinson, but you can easily follow two go too wide here. Good contact. Robin's racing as they head into turn three now. Yep, so it's going to be very much interesting. As you see, the battle up for essentially first place is hotting up because they're now all going to try and funnel into a line and get the airflow, potentially trying to chase down Gareth Morris that's leading the race at the moment. So it's going to be pretty much interesting to see what happens, how many people duck out of the airflow or potentially stay in it. But this is where it's going to get very exciting now because uh, there's going to be there's potentially three wide. Three wide. Down the inside, he does, yes. He's done fantastically to get up into second place at the moment. You've got Dean Atkinson potentially under threat from Darren Baldwin. Of course, Tom Holland's also there, so it's going to be potentially 
um, even better to go and see what happens going down into this little bit of a kink here. Potentially the wall is on on the closer side. But Darren's it's rubbed the wall. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, I and think. Going to go on the outside of Dean Atkinson for third position on the last corner. That's going to be very much interesting, isn't it? Because Tom's now on a massive charge and potentially push on, but he could, anything can happen. But you know, you got this. You know, you got a couple of cars battling potentially fought three wise like the likes of Adam Morgan and of course Craig Thomas and Lee Fitzy. They're they're obviously going to be battling battles galore throughout the remaining season but obviously it's going to look very close and personal as we see what's going on further afield throw down the inside of Tom Holland a lot of trust and respect between these two drivers yeah and, it's, and that's what you need it's what you, it's what you need in a championship like this but obviously it's still 12 and a half minutes to go but you know anything's happening so are they going to get the air, air flow or are they just going to play their own team game because Brian Ross is up to th third, where did that come from? He threw a big, big lunge down his tail and one on the previous slab down on the inside of Tom Holland who's already dropped down to seventh, just goes to show within 50 seconds. Anything, anything can happen, yeah. Field races. And they can't they just back be battling constantly because they just lose time as we look. Moz and Timmy have just made a huge gap back about 2.2 seconds now to exactly and exactly and there's obviously a gaggle of cars behind these so you've got obviously Darren and Brian battling at the moment and then you've got obviously uh, Craig Thomas up into 5th place at the moment he's obviously trying to defend like mad he's obviously trying to eke out that advantage from Adam Morgan potentially because they're tied on points and you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens between that for the their championship situation you've got uh, Neil Smell potentially he's just trying to keep out of trouble but you know he's, he's going to find it a bit tough but fair play to him he's not going to give up but you know anything can happen Darren's up to third place by the way and it's it's looking likely he's going to be under threat from Brian Ross still but he's doing exceptionally well to keep the keep the car on the track the gap from second to third is now 1.2 seconds, so it's just come down a second that last lap. Even though Brian Ross and Darren Bolden having a good, good ding dong, the the one at the front seems to be even closer. Look at this, Timmy blocking like mad. Yes, Morris. He, he he's trying to block like mad because he's obviously trying to. He's he's got a mission to do. He's got to try and get up to potentially the way he wants the championship to go you know fair play to Timmy he's won a couple of races over in the Caymans over over the last couple of weeks but he's obviously trying to replicate that here and potentially push on as Gareth gets a bit sideways that's what I mean about the undulation and going into turn number one so it's going to be so it's going to be making ground as well make it stick he does he swoops in but now look at that, Timmy's having a look down the inside of turn 4, or turn yeah. 3, so he's going to go for another move, he does. It's going to be pretty much interesting to see what happens uh, within uh, the, the uh, racing, obviously, here. Dar Darren's on a massive charge, now he's up into second place already. Is he going to oh, charge? He's fading as well, he's fading very quickly. Is he he's damaged, or is he... Um, we're going back to the like no. You're going back to the battle at the front. There's potentially now three, potentially nearly enough three wide going into turn number one. There, Darren's obviously on a massive charge. He wants to show exactly what he's made of. He probably wants to get another win, like he did at Suzuka, and potentially, you know, be one of the guys that gets a double win of the series. You know, it could, anything could happen. But Gareth at the moment is on a massive charge. He's trying to eke out. He's trying to eke a car's length between um, as Lee Fitz. He goes in the water. I don't know what's happened to Ismail. He's obviously right. has he had contact. Yeah, it looks like Lee Fitz and Tom Holland. Um, bit of a domino effect there. Uh, Craig just trying to avoid Lee Fitz. You run a bit deep into turn four, hit the wall very hard, and then Tom Holland just collected the back of him. Just trying, to, trying to get out of the way, he just drove into the side of 
Adam Morgan, but that's a racing incident. It is, yes. It happened. It's, it's, gonna, it's going to be very much. It's going to be very much interesting because not only have we got uh, Darren in the lead, you've got Gareth, you've got Timmy, and you've also got Brian Ross slowly lurking in the background, praying these guys are going to hold each other up and potentially you could latch on and get a good result here. There's top four now battling out for the lead with eight minutes to go start, even halfway through the race. That's crazy, isn't it? Utter crazy, you know, you've got Gareth Morris trying to get past Durham Baldwin for potentially first place at the moment. But, um... Anything can happen here, but obviously Gareth's trying to fight back because he wants a gap between him and Timmy to potentially improve that championship lead very slightly. But, you know, th there's a lot of respect shown between these lot this evening. Yeah, look, they're all, they're all leaving space. A bit of argy-bargy there, though, but... That's just a... That that's oh, Timmy just Timmy's just put it... He's just put it in the wall, though, hasn't he? Ross just gets the worst end of the stick. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Going, going back to this battle between Adam Morgan and Tom Holland for the time bit for the, for the moment, but you know Tom's really struggling at the moment. He's obviously having a bit of a nightmare this evening. You know he got a good start and potentially he's pushed it a bit. Um. But it sounds, it sounds like to me Ismail's lost internet connection, that's a bit of a shame. But hopefully he's back for race two. He'll have to start, unfortunately, at the back of the grid for race two. But, you know, looks like Darren's now under a bit of pressure from Timmy as we go into um, potentially, yeah, potentially the latter part of the lap. But, you know, Timmy's obviously trying to push Darren on trying to get that airflow potentially if Darren gets any more airflow but you know well, a really <sighs> huge advantage on Darren's high end he's bump drafting Moz exactly point, he's going to try he's going to try he's going to try and go for it well he's tucked in behind because he knew for a fact if the way Moz is driving at the moment but you know anything can happen so we've got just under six minutes to go and you know as I say anything can happen here you know it's going to be very much it's going to be very tight going into the last well the last two races of the season because the championship may turn you never know but at the moment it's going to be very interesting to see what happens all Moz really needs to do is just keep it out the barrier and it's uh, just, just needs to set some solid Finishings, finishing positions and just collect points and he should be should be in the clear. Yeah. He's doing a brilliant job he's defended from Darren so far this race. He has, yes. Like he's done a very up. He's done he's done a very good job and obviously Darren's not giving up trying to challenge for the lead either, which is very good indeed from him, but obviously you know Timmy's now got to push on, you know, he's potentially he's catching these guys at a great speed or not, but as I say, anything can happen with five minutes to go. It's going to be two for nail. It's going to be nail biting for the guys on the pit wall as well as the teams in the garages. But, you know, anything can happen here and it potentially will be potentially a very good excitement, for, especially for the reverse grid. You know, it's going to be potentially the faster guys at the at the the back of the field potentially the faster guys at the back for race two as Timmy goes into potentially near enough second but he, he, he fought better off because he's now tucked back in behind Darren but it's going to be potentially a very interesting indeed so we'll just go yeah, he's got four laps left maybe so there's no point going for a, for a move now only to be overtaken a, a lap after you've just got to Keep your head down and wait for the perfect moment. Exactly, and you've got to to exactly, you've got to keep your you've got to keep your wits about you, haven't you? And you've got to you've got to make sure that your strategy does come into place because obviously Timmy's now got the the air and the bump draft from Darren's 
gearbox, should we say, and potentially it's going to be very much interesting to see what happens going into turn number one here. But obviously, Darren's going to defend like mad, potentially trying to see what he can do. Obviously, you know, there's obviously, as we say, just three and a half minutes to go, but it's going to be one of them. You've got Brian Ross in fourth, you've got Dean Atkinson at the moment in fifth, you've got Lee Fitzy ahead of his cousin in sixth, and Craig's in seventh, Adam Morgan. 8th, Tom Holland 9th and Neil Smale kind of, I think he's kind of struggling at the moment but he's doing ok but you know he's, he's going to enjoy his reverse grids hopefully as uh, Darren's on a bit more pressure from um, potentially Sorry, yeah. the front is closing too of course yeah it's going it's to close I'm quite lost Looks like he's saying, right, you can get past, I know you're faster, so he's, he's banging the limiter in fifth for a moment now, you need to let Timmy back past. Yeah. Working together. They're probably working together to get that, that, to get that airflow to potentially have a nice battle, which they are doing. And I'll tell you what, it's been absolutely fantastic so far. Darren's obviously, you know, yeah, okay, he started second, but, you know, potentially to get back and to get on the podium and potentially prove that you know he's going to be a force to be reckoned for going into the last two races of the season he's going to be he's obviously after that win at Suzuki he's obviously done so far so good you know what I mean and it's it's going to be pretty much amazing obviously Brian Ross fourth you've got Dean Atkinson fifth Lee Fitz he's slowly but surely catching him up now but we'll go back to this battle between uh, Timmy and Darren with um, two minutes to go so Anything can happen here. And Darren gets a bit sideways, but he's potentially still got he's still got his eyes set on getting past Timmy potentially for second place. Yeah, Moz tending quite late down into turn one. So he's taking quite an odd line in hopes of breaking the slipstream or putting them off or distracting them or something like that. Seems to be working the caps saying staying between nine tenths or so. Yep. The gym is massively outbreaked it, but now Darren's got back past. I'm gonna hold it round the outside of the last corner and not the fastest way to really take someone round the outside. No, it's not because it's on the dirty side of the trap, but you know, Darren's obviously a seasoned veteran, he knows what he's doing, he's got back up into second. And potentially it's gonna be it's potentially now the final lap of the race and you know anything can happen we'll just Obviously, you know, fair play to these two. They've obviously give each other quite a lot of racing room, quite a lot of respect this evening, and that's what we like to see. Obviously, you've got Brian Ross fourth, you've got Dean Atkinson fifth, uh, Lee Fitzy sixth, Adam Morgan now up into seventh. He's got past Craig for seventh place, but Craig's giving him a bit of a, a hip and a shoulder potentially to see what can go on here. You've got uh, Tom Holland ninth, and obviously Neil Smale. 10th but at the moment uh, it's looking likely these guys potentially that are out in front are going to get an extra lap so it's going to be potentially very much interesting to see what happens between these guys obviously uh, Timmy's got past Darren for second place but Darren's not going to give up so yeah they're not catching up to first at, at this moment in time so you know I think the battle is now for second so they're, they're going to see a lot of Position swapping or paint swapping too, maybe. maybe yeah, the contact. it's it's going to be very. It's going to be all or nothing now because this is the final lap of the race for these two, and they're potentially going to push on. You know, it's going to be. Who knows what can happen? But obviously, you know, Gareth's kept it out of trouble. He's had he's had a bit of he's had a bit of a quiet race, like should we say? Down the inside of the last yes, corner. he is. Yes, that's exactly. It never. Timmy get the slipstream now, going across the line. Gareth Morris comes home to take the win. Good job from him. Oh, Timmy Darren takes. Like no, nah, Darren takes passed. second, and that's that's a good uh, result for Darren. Obviously, he started second, finished second, so he's he's obviously had a good battle there, and you know it's been fair play. Obviously, Adam Morgan takes seventh from obviously Craig Thomas, and obviously. Tom Holland unfortunately ninth it's going to be very interesting going into the last races of the season but I tell you what fair play and I tell you what they've kept it clean so far but who knows
And so I'll just get the replays. And I'll get the race results as well while we're here. Um two ticks. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to mate, yeah. You got the grid, yeah. So I'll go through the race results. So in first place was none other than championship leader Gareth Morris. Obviously Gareth's kept his head cool, he's kept it out of potentially trouble. It's gonna put him into good stead going into the last two races of the season. Darren Baldwin obviously started second and finished second. He had a good battle with Timmy Gill that finished third place. Uh, Brian Ross made his way up into fourth place. You know, Brian was potentially on the podium at one point. Then you had Lee Fitzy in fifth place, followed by Dean Atkinson and, of course, Adam Morgan. No, it is not Tim Costar Adam Morgan, if anyone is wondering. It is the Welsh Wizard Adam Morgan. Then you've got uh, Craig Thomas finishing eighth. Then, obviously, Tom Holland ninth. Uh, Neil Smale. That will start on pole position in race number two, finish 10th. Sadly, Ismail Nimri's um, NSX decided to blow a piston and it made him not finish. But, you know, these things do happen and uh, he unfortunately Ismail will be at the back of the grid for race number two. But the fastest lap actually went to Timmy on lap number 10 with a 50.740. And it's going to be very close getting... Um, plenty of battles galore and it will be um, amazing to see what happens I can't wait to see exactly what goes on within obviously the reverse grid and it's going to be potentially now or, now or nothing but you know I believe Gareth's got one hand on the title now and he potentially will have a massive party in South Wales if he does win the title but as I say, Will, it's going to be very interesting. And yes, I know you've got to sort out the grid, mate, but it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in race number two. Yeah, we've got... Well, everyone was sort of evenly paced. There was just sort of... The only thing that set everyone apart in separate groups was just incidents. And that turn four seemed to be quite a... Quite the the popular zone for incidents to happen. Um with lots of drivers outbreaking themselves or just driving into the back of other people but by accident yeah um, and, and it it, 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 it it does it does happen and obviously so tracks like this can easily be potentially very um i'm not going to say technical but it's going to it's obviously for um it's not. It's not for the faint-hearted. You know, it's, you've got to be very brave to potentially make moves around here as well. As, but obviously, there has been a lot of potentially good battles, and I will tell you what, it was nice to see the likes of obviously Darren and Timmy have that battle for potentially second place and fair play, obviously. Um, but who knows what happens? Yeah, it gives the the guys who may not usually be. As, as fast a, a, an opportunity to have a good fight with those who are quite often at the top. Yeah. I think these races seem to be quite popular last season after um, Lord Bean. Yeah. What's he like? But yeah, it's going to be very much interesting seeing some of the seeing some of the chat on the stream, like you know. People are cheering for Timmy, people are cheering for Darren, people are cheering for pretty much everyone up and down the field and you know, it's very nice to see that people are really getting in starting to get involved and you know it's gonna be uh, very much interesting to see how well these guys do. Obviously, you know, we've got people like uh Johnny that races in the MX five, so he's you know, he's he said nice to Darren and fair play, it's nice to see drivers in other championships cheering on obviously their hosts and potentially uh, who knows they could be joining the grid at some point of the, in the seasons but you never know it'd be very good I'm just going to put a joke to yeah. Darren in the uh, PSN chat just to it might make him smile but you know but yeah it's going to be very interesting but yeah but as I say, it's going to be pretty much interesting. Hopefully, things do um, 
you know, it sounds like that obviously Ryan's PlayStation's broken and that's why he's not here, but you know, it's it's one of them. Yeah, just one of them things, I suppose. Uh, it's one of them and it can't be helped. Yeah. yeah. Can't this be helped. the best thing in the world. No. That's what it is. So, I'm just going to go and grab a quick drink. Um, ready for race two, and I'll be back in a second. Right, start the race in a second, so just let me know when you're back. Well, obviously, we're here, so. Yeah. So, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll take my controller with me because it's not plugged in. <coughs> Might make it easier, and then I'm not moving about with it, am I? Breaking news, guys. Andy's what? making a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm not making a cup of tea, mate. I wish I was. Going for a nice cup of blackcurrant squash right now, to be honest. Ah, well, I could do with um, could do with a nice cup of coffee, but oh, I can't be bothered making one, so I'm sticking to Carl's work. <coughs> That's the way. <laughs> That's the way. It keeps keeps the throat nice and nice and relaxed. But you know, but uh, obviously I, nob I, no I, I normally have a, a, a big bottle of water next to me. But obviously, the way things are going, it's gonna potentially calm in the voice down a bit tonight because I need to get ready for Friday and potentially, uh, obviously, with the Porsche Caymans on a Friday, the the voice does tend to go a bit because. There's a lot of action as, as well as here, but you know, if you're new around here, guys, and you're watching the stream, do go and check out Elder Sim Racing on uh, Facebook, and it will be potentially um, very interesting. So, hopefully, it will be a very interesting race. As uh, Kim Sargent says, hello, so good evening to you, Kim. Hope you're okay. And let's get ready for race number two. Alright, let's kick gummage. I'm just going to put the spectator on so I can... Yeah, just make sure you do that, mate. Make sure you do that and make sure you don't swear like you did last week. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, mate. We all do it. Yeah. We all do it, mate, but I've you know... Done it so far today, so. No, you haven't. You've done very well, but let's see what happens in the reverse grid. Um, obviously... You got Neil Smell at the front, followed by Tom Holland, and of course um, Craig Thomas. I don't know why Craig's putting his wipers on. It's not raining, guys, but you know. But it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Is Neil Smell going to get a lightning start like he does, or? Is he going to bolt away? Let's see what happens as we get ready for the penultimate race of this season. It's about to start now. And let's get ready to go and let's see what happens. So Tom Holland bogged out slightly. He's already down into fourth. Yeah, he's... he's okay. Okay. He route goes around the outside of Bastion. A very audacious move there. Brilliant for him. Dean Atkinson tries to thread the needle between the pay. Just out of nowhere takes the lead. Brilliant move from last week's race two winner. Now Tom Holland already up in third as well past Bastion. Yeah, so he's so he's obviously Tom Holland now up into third, but obviously you've got the two blue cars between Timmy and of course um um Timmy the, Timmy and Neil, should I say. Not Timmy and Timmy, but you've got uh, Adam Morgan up into fourth. It's car it's just suddenly glitched back onto the pit straight. Is he? Ooh. Yeah, Darren just had to make some incredible maneuvers there. Oh, uh, might just be internet, unfortunately. Could be. Tom Holland spins nearly going out of turn number one there. So that will be Lee Fitzy at the back of the grid, unfortunately, for race number two. But looking at this, and Dean Atkinson already in the lead of the race. You've got another Welshman is in Craig Thomas in second place, followed by Adam Morgan now under threat from Timmy. But at the moment, this is going to be very much interesting. Neil Smell at the moment, unfortunately, suffering a bit. But, you know, he's going to 
He'll be plenty to pick it back up. He's Looked like Brian just came across him, not realising he was still still had his nose in there, and he just cut him off going down into turn four. Yeah. Spot for but you know, because obviously turn four is a bit narrow as well. But you've got Ismail Nemery battling away, potentially now up into fifth place. But he's running a bit wide there, and he's allowed. Brian Ross potentially get back up there's a bit of uh, sparking along the wall like a welder would but uh, potentially would be very interesting Tom Holland now sit from Ismail Nemery I don't know whether Ismail's got damage at the moment he's trying to potentially chase down uh, Darren for potentially 7th at the moment obviously Gareth Morris up into ninth, potentially now 8th as he gets past Ismail, potentially for, as I say, for 8th place but going back to the front at the moment this is going to be very close and personal between obviously Craig and Timmy because he's now going to, Timmy's now splitting the pair between obviously Craig and Adam but it's going to be potentially very much interesting to see what happens going into the second bit of the turn there Craig leans on him but you know fair play but as we say you've got uh, Timmy in second from Craig Thomas from Adam Morgan at the moment but it's, it's, it's looking feisty Will yeah especially with uh, Tom Holland looking down the inside of Brian Ross now uh, fifth it's going to catch up to the likes of Adam Morgan and Craig Thomas and Timothy Gill in second. Looks like Dean Atkinson's brought up a solid lead at the front. Yet again, second race to, you know, for, um, second race weeks. within a week. Yeah. Got there eventually. <laughs> it's all right, mate. It's, it's easily, it's easily done to misplace your words, but you know, as we say, you got uh, Craig also trying to latch onto the back of Timmy still, but he's got he's got to be careful. Because Adam Morgan's filling his mirrors full of a turquoise and black machine. But obviously it's going to be very much interesting because, as I say, the, the track is narrow here and it potentially opens back up. But obviously Tom Holland has also got the likes of Brian Ross and, of course, Gareth Morris and, of course, uh, Darren Baldwin also alongside. But this is going to be pretty much in entertaining, this battle. There's four wide down the straight between. That's going to be Ross scary. <laughs> for a second there. Yeah. Three into one going to work. Three into mm. one may work, but sometimes it doesn't. Because yes. Morton Boris. Oh, yeah, he's lost. He's lost. He's lost ground because he got a bit sideways. That's not going to do his tyres any good, which has dropped him back down to ninth. But up, up at the road up here. Potentially for second place, you got Timmy, Adam Morgan, and of course Craig. Oh, he, he threw it into the no, he threw it into the wall, and I think you know he potentially had um, two cut two two cars either side of him. So now obviously Craig and uh, Timmy for potentially second place. So it's role reversal between them two. But Darren at the moment on a massive charge. From potentially ninth on the grid at the moment. He's obviously he's obviously. It's going to be very much interesting. Two laps in a row. Yeah. It's pack racing. It's close. It's close. It's close and personal this time round. But obviously, some of the cars are going to be very battled scored after a couple of moves into the wall and potentially. It's going to be very much interesting. You've obviously, as we say, you've got uh, Darren potentially still fifth place, trying to get fourth place from Adam Morgan at the moment. But as we say, anything can happen within within this race. You've obviously got Craig Thomas now potentially now trying to chase down Timmy after Timmy's got past him. But Dean Atkinson at the moment is obviously on a charge because he is going to be potentially. Um, going to be on a as I say sorry my TV's about to turn off so <laughs> it's all touch and go this evening but as I was saying uh, Timmy is trying to eke out that gap from Craig Thomas at the moment um, but anything can happen and potentially 
um, it will be very interesting as we've got um, Darren tries to gain up to um, Adam Morgan for fourth and looking at the battle behind them you've got Ismail and of course uh, Gareth and Tom Holland and Brian Ross but at the moment uh, Gareth got up into sixth place so anything can happen The moment just on the back straight it was like no Zarko we're going two by two. That's two white is Brian gonna have another look and recovers it off. It's gonna give him a bit of a bit of a push up against the wall. Yep. So it's gonna be pretty much interesting. You see Ismail trying to dive within uh these two just can potentially I have no idea, but it's obviously three into one isn't gonna go, isn't it? So, so memory was just shunted into the wall there. Yeah. Know if Ross was just trying to give Holland a bit of a tap, but uh, memory could be worse off if the three. Mm-hmm. Was away from him now. Yeah. So as we can see, Darren who's already trying to eke out to Adam Morgan potentially for fourth place. Is he gonna make it stick going into turn number one? He has a think about it, but obviously he's, he's, he's had a bit of a gap um, opened up, but he's obviously still pushing on. You've got uh, Craig and Timmy potentially still still pushing on for potentially second and third at the moment. So that's going to be very much interesting to see what happens within um, a bit of the six and a half minutes to go. But it's, anything can happen. You've still got Adam Morgan and Darren Baldwin battling for fourth and fifth at the moment. Uh, just going back between Ismail Nemery and of course Tom Holland, also Brian Ross is there. Uh, Neil Smell at the moment, I believe, you know, he's trying to catch up as best as he can to this group, but he's he's not that far, but he'll do okay. Uh, you've got Dean Atkinson in the leader race, but at the moment it's looking likely it's hotting up at the front in obviously second place. Yeah, he's cars now, four cars down, ducks behind Adam Morgan, to work together after Adam just clouted the wall on, in this corner here, turn four, yep. Darren knows to break early, just so he can get the better exit, slow in, fast out, is always the best way of taking corners, as Adam Morgan just dives to the left hand side, gets past Craig Thomas, blocks off Darren at the last moment. So it's flunked wide and now Piri goes down the inside of Darren, maybe Craig, not quite. Well, it's going to be very much interesting between these four cars because not only is Craig now trying to see it changes and it's going to be very much interesting to see what happens, but obviously the battle is so hard and potentially, just, as, as we said before, there's no margin for error, but obviously Darren up into fourth place at the moment, he's down for third. Last pretty much interesting Craig's lost out there because he's now at the back of this pack but anything can happen Craig just looks to the outside of Timmy wasn't the gap there and just ran wide against the wall So Timmy's now trying to fight past Adam Morgan for potentially for third place at the moment with four and a half minutes to go. Darren's already up into second. You know, he must be laughing because he's obviously doing a stellar job trying to obviously pr prove a point to these guys and say, look, you know, this is this is exactly what I gained from your battles and it's obviously going to be very amazing. As Adam tries to fend off Timmy at the moment, we'll see what's happening further back. Obviously, Gareth Morris now up into fifth place, so the best best mates are battling for fifth and sixth at the moment. You've got uh, Brian Ross and Tom Holland battling away, but it's a bit of squeezing going on there, potentially. But uh, obviously, it's going to be. I was getting past Craig on that lap, I don't know if Craig just let him pass or what, but um, really benefited. Gareth is he's now less than second behind. Yeah. Timmy, Adam Morgan, and, uh, Darren so just looking back at the moment between uh, Brian and of course Tom at the moment, Ismail's also trying to join the party. 
but it's going to be potentially very close between these guys as well as it is up the front but now that Timmy and Adam are battling which has allowed Darren to kind of try and escape up the road but it's going to be potentially very interesting with three minutes and eight seconds to go but obviously you know Timmy's probably trying to push on potentially because he's got a car between him and Gareth but Gareth's closing slowly but surely yeah, that car that was separating the pair is now just giving him a hard time. He's defending from him, trying to get him to lose time. He's really working in Gareth's favour. Yep. That gap's not really tense. It's about a second a lap you go. Mm hmm After this, Darren is pulled away about one and a half seconds. Look at that Dean Atkinson in first. What 4.6 seconds? I don't want to jinx anything, but it looks like he has this one in the bag. Yeah, it, lo it looks like it. He's he's, he's 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 obviously trying to emulate his win from last week, and you know he's probably realised he's got potential. You know he's doing so well. Um, obviously, I think he did. He got a podium here in the Caymans, I believe. And you know he's obviously trying to latch onto this, but obviously at the moment you've got uh, Gareth now trying to latch onto the back of Timmy with two minutes to go. But this this is the thing. You got the title rivals potentially. In, touching distance and potentially anything can happen as Gareth tries to go for third place in, you know but Adam Morgan's the loser of that but potentially Adam's no, no, still going to fight back but obviously it's going to be all or nothing but there's Adam Morgan and Moz side by side Moz might have the advantage down into turn 4 it's going to be close. Easy, but Mars just breaks itself and slams into the wall. Slams into the wall there, so that's going to cost him a bit of ground now. Also, yeah, Craig's Craig got Thomas. Craig's got past him, so obviously, so obviously with a minute, with just roughly over a minute, just a minute to go now, it's going to be very close and potentially personal. So Gareth is going to have to do all that work over again to try and potentially catch up to Timmy and potentially get this championship sewn up he's you know fair play he's obviously knowing what to do but obviously Tom Holland and Brian Ross are battling for 8th and ninth, but potentially it could be an easy battle but obviously you've got Neil Smell at the tail of the field fortunately Neil's you know I don't know whether he's struggling or he's just taking it easy but obviously you know his starts were okay but obviously Timmy's now up into third but it's going to look like Gareth's got past Craig and so Craig's obviously trying to uh, play the Welsh wizard of favour potentially but uh, we shall see you got uh, Dean Atkinson that's uh, 5.0 seconds from Darren at the moment but obviously Darren's going to be very happy with another second place he obviously likes it round here because he seems to gel quite a lot round here so we have got Timmy and Adam Morgan still battling Craig and Gareth are now battling whether Craig's just doing it just for a bit of challenges or just potentially seeing what can happen but obviously it's going to go right down to potentially the wire so it will be very much interesting you know look at these two the two close mates as well and they're having a bit of a battle on track so Obviously, Dean Atkinson takes another win for the season. Well, and then by him, he lost about eight seconds, eight tenths down to Darren, sorry, on that last lap. But um, you know, just taking it easy, didn't have any, didn't have the need to take any risks. Yeah. So that's going to be very interesting because Timmy is third, Adam Morgan fourth, and Gareth Morris fifth. So it's going to be potentially. Is it going to go down to the wire? We'll find out. I don't think so, no. From what I've seen at the moment, it does look like Mars has the has the championship in the bag. So he's got nothing to lose now. He's just going to have a bit of fun in this last race. Yeah, so that's going to be very much interesting. I'll get the race results and go through them while we get ready for race number three. And don't forget to set the grid, mate. <laughs> But obviously, make sure Lee Fitzy's at the back because he'll be at the back. 
So, in first place was none other than Dean Atkinson, followed by Darren Baldwin takes another podium of the evening. Obviously, that's a good result from ninth on the grid for Darren. He's obviously worked very hard to extremely get up to there. You've got Timmy in third place, followed by Adam Morgan and Gareth Morris. Craig Thomas, Ismail Nemery and Tom Holland were 6th, 7th and 8th. Brian Ross, ninth. Neil Smell, 10th, and Lee Fitzy. I don't know whether Lee Fitzy had a bit of a drama, but um, it looked to me that his NSX kind of had a bit of an issue. Uh, yet again, Timmy gets the fastest lap with a 50.8 on that number three, and it could be all to play for, but it's going to be very easy to see what happens. But obviously, as we say, it is going to be very tight and potentially... Obviously, I think Gareth's now going to go for it now. You know, he's he's going to be very excited and see what happens between, obviously, the last race of the season. But it's going to be potentially very close indeed. And I, I, I sort to give a special mention to, obviously, you know, without Will's hard work setting up this league. And obviously, yes, OK, he joins me in the commentary box, but he's done a stellar job all season. Yes, we've had a few sort of iffy moments on track yeah hiccup should we say not iffy moments but you know if Will hadn't had set up this league you know people wouldn't be here this evening so obviously it's been a good season it's been one of them I'll tell you what mate it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the last race of the season yes some battles may already be um, decided obviously we can't tell from points at the moment but now that it's the last race no one's got anything to lose We're just they're just going to mess about have some fun hopefully it will still stay respectful uh, obviously the, well, I say obviously we just had a, a message in the, the message chat from Brian complaining about some dive bombs for some drivers so we may have we may have some we may have some stewards inquiries going on, yes. Exactly. It's also great. It's alright mate, take your time, no rush. But it should be very interesting to see what happens with um, a race number three, the last one of the season. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be very interesting as of next season as well, because not only do we have some potentially exciting stuff coming out, it's going to be probably some tracks that we've never probably seen or potentially commentated on or even raced on before. I'm not too sure, but we shall see what happens within... Um, a lot of things but obviously you know we'll see what happens in this final race of the evening and then obviously the focus will turn to whatever's going on next season so you know it will be absolutely interesting to see obviously you know these guys are going to be hopefully back for another season but we shall see but obviously it's going to be a good fitting end to um Bit, uh, bit, of a, bit of a sad end because obviously it seems like yesterday since the championship started but it's going to be uh, we'll see what happens just waiting on Aaron Morgan to enter now to finish off the grid Let's see what's going on in chat. If he doesn't ready up, mess it, he's, he's done it now. It's all right. <sighs> so, let's see what the uh, final, final race of the season brings. Will it bring a new winner or will it bring some exciting action only time will tell guys but uh, obviously the reverse grid is going to be pretty much exciting so you'll have Neil Smell on pole position from I believe um, just going quickly on reverse grid so you'll have Brian Ross then Tom Holland then obviously Ismail Nunnery 
then you'll have uh, Craig Thomas followed by Gareth Morris from Adam Morgan then Timmy and then obviously Darren Baldwin and of course Dean Atkinson and then obviously you will also have Lee Fitzy at the rear of the field after um, after his misfortune I believe his NSX decided to break down on him which it's not very typical or it's not very good of a Honda to break down but let's see what happens and yes we'll make sure it is a good race and I can't wait to see what happens funny enough it's going to be pretty much amazing to see what happens uh, for this evening so it'd help if I go into spectator mode wouldn't it <laughs> but yeah let's let's see what happens for the final race of the season I'll tell you what it's going to be very much uh, interesting and you know it's been it's so far so good it's been as we said we've had a few hiccups this season but you know it's, it wouldn't be racing if we didn't so let's see what happens yeah. let's see what happens in the final race of the season can Bastion finally make one of his famous starts gap up to uh, Brian Ross and Tom Holland in third yeah so the revs are building now it is going to be very interesting and we will see what happens for 15 minutes let's go it looks like at the moment Tom Holland has an absolute electric start already up into P number one but oh, I mean, that's a brilliant start looks like Brian Ross struggling slightly as well but Bastian keeping on Tom Holland's bumper he runs slightly wide into on the exit turn one into turn two he's off solid solid lead now as uh, Brian Ross goes to the inside of Bastion which unsettles him and now memory's getting past him too yeah which is a bit unfortunate but hopefully he will potentially latch onto the back of this he's you know he's obviously he's, he, he said to me he's, he's a bit nervous but you know I, I can get that and I can understand I used to be like that and you know anything can happen but at the moment he's got to be careful because he's got the likes of Adam Morgan just rubbing it up against his door there but you know it's going to be very amazing to see what happens obviously at the moment Darren doing a fantastic job into potentially 8th place maybe 7th place but we we'll, shall see what goes on into turn number 1 there's quite a lot of oh looked like Lee Fitz he had a bit of a slide and it just collected Darren there and a few of the others but you know it's just one I believe it was just one of them but uh, Craig's putting Adam Morgan under a lot of pressure at the moment so Brian Ross up into potentially well he was up into first place but he's now still second Tom Holland as Lee Fitz's car yet again has probably drama so you know there's an early casualty already on the uh, second lap there but obviously Brian Ross at the moment trying to eke out from um, Tom Holland but it's looking likely they're having a bit of a square on battle because Timmy's now leading the race as well yeah Tom Holland was just giving him a bit of a nudge because Ross was just coming down on him for no reason you know there's there's rules like this in NASCAR where they've got these these sort of lines they've got to they've just got to go in a straight line you can't be pushing anyone you can't be doing stupid things like this you've got to stay on these lines you've got, you've got to stay in you've got to stay in that line haven't you you've got to stay within yeah, exactly. you've got to stay within like obviously motorway, so. yeah exactly yeah you can't just do that yeah and that, and that's the problem because what you've got to realize is even though you're trying to make a move and trying to break the air you've got to stay within that line because obviously otherwise you're not going to get the draft and you're not going to get the overlap and it's going to be potentially um cause a lot of issues here but at the moment you've got adam morgan versus ismail memory and of course uh, craig thomas at the moment so these guys are having a bit of a battle i believe also dean atkinson and gareth morris are potentially pushing on Darren at the moment trying to push on potentially he's doing well at the moment keeping up to this pack so Neil Smale at the moment he's now 10th so it's going to be very much interesting to see what happens within the last race of the season but at the moment it's looking like there's going to be feisty battles here there and everywhere looks like Timmy struggled on that turn 4 and now Brian Ross is going to get past him he leaves more than enough room. So that's going to be potentially very interesting. Brian Ross in the claret and blue car there. 
obviously it's going to be pretty much uh, easy, easy way and potentially an easy battle but obviously Timmy there trying to latch onto the back of Brian Ross you've got uh, Tom Holland in third place now and you've got <laughs> Car there, just raising that little barrier that plastic Yeah, it's it's looking likely between obviously foot. Yeah, so looks like Gareth's had a bit of a knock into the wall or a bit of contact with another car that's dropped him back into yeah. potentially now ninth. Like but but he, like yeah, but it's it, it's it's, it's nothing, he's got nothing to lose now. He's got the championship sewn up, so you know he can just basically go on and do what he needs to do but obviously it, with the championship sewn up you know it, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna bother him where he finishes but obviously you got uh, Darren up into eighth place at the moment he's trying to make a move on uh, Adam Morgan there but obviously going back up towards the front of the field uh, Timmy has got you know he's trying to latch onto the back of Brian Ross potentially for first place at the moment uh, you got Tom Holland third build up a gap to Tom Holland. Doesn't seem to be as working as efficiently as, he, as they'd hoped. He's only gone up two tenths in the last two laps. Yeah. And then you've got down a lot. Yeah, and there's a there's a battle obviously brewing between Ismail and of course Craig Thomas and also Dean Atkinson and Darren Baldwin potentially trying to follow suit as well. So they're trying to play their own cards right just for here there and potentially where they're gonna put the cards. But obviously it's gonna be very close but uh you don't want what you don't want is you don't want to break that air just in case it doesn't go to your advantage as Darren tries to make a move on Dean Atkinson for potentially sixth place but obviously it didn't uh, didn't pull it off in time but fair enough he'll, he'll probably make it this time round but uh, Craig's obviously dropped back to seventh place at the moment now eighth he's probably had a bit of issues with the air or he's just potentially pushed on a bit but obviously uh, Timmy's all over the back of Brian Ross now going on to the final banking with nine nine minutes to go. Tom Holland must have I think he made a mistake on the exit turn one. Grace that wall yet again now that gap's built up, so he just needs to stay calm and recuperate himself and hope something goes wrong at the front. Yeah. So obviously you got uh, basically Darren is in fifth place at the moment. He's obviously trying to push on. He probably wants another podium. You know, fair play to him. He's, he's, he's obviously, obviously still suffering a bit, but you know he's, he's he's doing exceptionally well to potentially get where he is at the moment. Obviously, just going slightly up the road at the moment. You've got obviously Brian Ross and Timmy still trying to chase each other down and potentially swap positions. But it's going to be pretty much exciting. You know. Fair play, Darren's right up on his mail and then he's uh, back bumper down potentially trying to get that airflow potentially to work to his advantage. And I think Ismail's just trying to break that airflow so he doesn't, but you know, who knows. As Darren actually does get by for fourth place, so you know, fair play, he's not... Darren's not giving up there, so obviously Adam Morgan in... 6th place followed by Craig Thomas in 7th but it uh, looks like Adams jumped up into 5th place there. He's doing a good job, he's keeping it nice and clean. I think there was a bit of contact with uh, Emery though through turn 1. But uh, so far he's having a solid solid race, nothing too spectacular but no drama is better than too much drama. Yeah, exactly, and, and you know you've got to be you've got to be really on the money here. You've got obviously Dean Atkinson and Craig Thomas potentially having a bit of a battle themselves. But uh, as we say, anything can happen within this race. You've obviously got Gareth Morris, champ the champion of the series, in ninth place at the moment. Fair play. He's probably just playing it quiet. He's probably just having just seeing what goes on ahead. Neil Smell in tenth. Obviously, Timmy now up into the lead of the race from Brian Ross. It's looking likely these two are potentially going to battle for first and second. You've got now Darren or trying to get all over the back of potentially uh, potentially uh, Tom Holland at the moment. I can't even get my words out there, but Darren's obviously made the move. So Darren's on course for potentially another podium with six and a half minutes to go. 
try not to put the commentators curse on him but you know it's going to be very much interesting to see what happens within the last six minutes of the race obviously you've got uh, Brian Ross back up into the lead Timmy's also all over the back of him so this is going to be a fantastic end to the season but we'll see what happens yeah, it looked like Tom Holland was bunk drafting Darren there into turn one. He's just lost. The he's car. lost it. He's lost it and put it into oh, the wall. He's turned. The, he's turned the NSX into a lawnmower, which he didn't really want to do. It's, that's cost him a lot of time now, though. He's got another five minutes, fifty seconds. After fingers crossed, he can make some grind up on the cars in front. Yeah, and he's got. Back to where he was. Mm -hmm. So you've got Adam Morgan fourth now, potentially Ismail Nemery in the black and orange car, potentially trying to make a move on Adam Morgan, which he does, but Adam Morgan's going to fight back. you got Gareth Morris and, of course, Dean Atkinson, potentially for sixth and seventh. So there's quite a few battles, but we'll see what's happening between, obviously, Timmy and uh, Brian Ross, potentially they're having a bit of a battle as well so there's, there's quite a few battles to keep an eye on but I believe uh, Gareth uh, got a bit loose onto the banking and potentially when he threw it down into the infield but he just had a bit of a jig and a jive should we say but you know it's going to be potentially very much interesting uh, see what happens but obviously you've got uh, Tom Holland ninth, uh, Neil Smell still in 10th place fair play he's not, he's not given up though but uh, Going back to this battle between Timmy and, of course, Brian Ross at the moment with uh, four minutes and 43 remaining. Anything can happen between these guys. You've got, uh, obviously, Darren still in third place, so he's gonna, he's on course for another podium. So, you know, it's going to be very interesting with four and a half minutes to actually now go. Adam Morgan now fourth, Ismail Nemery now fifth, and then, obviously, uh, Dean Atkinson and uh, Gareth Morrison plus Craig Thomas battling away will so what it's going to be a very interesting end to the season yeah yet again we've had another one of these races where it's all just lots of cars and lots of different groups all battling it out they must have they've all had little bits of tiny little nuggets of contact on different parts of the track and they've all sort of Disadvantaged themselves as like Dean Atkinson just hits the wheel. Yeah. Turn four really ruins uh, Moss's run as well as he runs into the back of him and lets Clay back past. Yeah, and it kind, of, it kind of in a way it just shows the nature of what's going on because you've got obviously Ismail trying to make a move on Adam Morgan potentially going into turn number one there. You know, Ismail has a bit of a slide, but it's not much of a slide to put him off there but it's going to be very much interesting you've got Dean Atkinson and uh, Craig Thomas as well as um, Gareth Morris there potentially trying to make it wide and it's, it's very much going to be tight and twisty obviously Darren's now essentially lurking in between obviously Timmy and Brian Ross even though he's 1.7 seconds behind but as I say anything can happen but it's going to be very much interesting you've got the two two best mates in Gareth and Craig battling you've got Tom Holland of watching Knights Neil Smell 10th but it's, it's it's been amazing as I say we've had a few hiccups here though and there but you know this, I think I think the last race of the season you know it's it's probably been probably one of the most probably entertaining but we'll see what we'll see what everyone else thinks but you know it's going to be very much interesting you've got uh Adam Morgan and Ismail Nemery still battling. You've got Dean Atkinson and Craig with uh, Gareth now behind him. Oh, Tom Holland's had a bit of a misfortune. I don't know whether he's had connection issues or he's just had one of them or he's just... I don't know. I can't, can't really say he's given up because, you know, it's just, it just shows the nature of what's been going on with two minutes and three seconds to go. So... You know, Brian Ross there, potentially under a lot of threat from Timmy, but obviously Timmy's just thinking about plotting his move. Obviously, Darren's still doing a fab job in third place. You've got Adam Morgan still under threat from his man memory. So it's going to be pretty much interesting to see what happens. Yeah, that gap towards the front between Darren and Timmy seems to be coming down. It's going to be really interesting to see if it can 
get any get any lower on these last almost such two laps. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be very much interesting because, as, as you say, you've got Darren now potentially trying to push on and potentially get past um, Timmy, but it's, it's going to be pretty much the gaps. Obviously, it grows and then it shrinks a bit, then it grows, and it's 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 just the nature of how exactly this racing's been all season, especially around here. You know. I bet some people say, oh, well, can we race around here every week? But, you know, we can't, and it's just one of them. Adam Morgan runs a bit wide going out of turn number one there, but he's obviously allowed Nemery to get past him for potentially fourth, but uh, it's closing down with 40 seconds to go, so anything can happen. Just going back up to what's happening further up here, but obviously Darren scraped the wall a bit, but that's... The gap's still coming down slightly, but surely. Yeah, he's going to have a stronger slipstream from the cars in front now as well. So we won't see that gap come up so significantly. So, you know, he, he could well catch up. He's very strong for this first corner. You can see he's always, always parking it on the apex and getting a good exit as well. Look, he's done it again. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's he's to do that. Yeah. So we do have uh, obviously the obviously the last lap of the r final race of the season. You got Craig Thomas. Up. Oh, I don't know what happened to Ismail. I think he went either too deep or there was a bit of a couple of cars into one corner. Don't go sort of attitude. But uh, Craig Thomas up into four, followed by Adam Morgan. Now, but Adam Morgan's got the toe back onto him. But what about this from Brian Ross? He's going to take his first ever win of the season. And, you know, what an absolute... Finish, what? Finish team's going to come alongside. Can he get it? Can he get it? No, he no, can't. No, he can't. No, that's... Oh, that was close. And obviously Darren rounds up the podium and gets another podium in the final ra three races of the season. You've got Adam Morgan as he gets four from Craig Thomas and obviously Gareth Morris and Dean Atkinson there. Neil Smell actually finished... Um, eight from obviously Ismail Nemery. I don't know what happened to Ismail. He probably had a bit of an issue, but uh, it was looking likely that there was um, a lot ongoing there. So it will be very much interesting to see what happens in obviously within the stewards' room because I don't know whether there was quite a bit of uh, battles there. But we'll see what happens, obviously. But. Uh, We'll go through the final race results of the evening and obviously the final race results of the season as well. So in first place was Brian Ross taking a well-deserved victory. It's probably long overcoming for Brian. Uh, fair play to him. He didn't give up. Uh, Timmy put him under a lot of pressure all the way through the race. And then obviously Darren takes out another podium. So he's done the triple podium this evening in the final rounds of the season. Followed by Adam Morgan and of course Craig Thomas. That battle was heating up and also uh, Gareth Morris finishes sixth. Dean Atkinson comes home in seventh. Neil Smell actually now finishes, I believe he finished eighth. But because obviously Ismail had a bit of an issue... It's still technically nearly enough classed Ismail as a ninth place finisher. But as I say, anything can happen. You've got uh, obviously lost uh, Tom Holland and of course uh, Lee Fitzy uh, with mechanical issues. Darren takes the fastest lap of the, of the last race of the season with a 50.8 on lap number 10. But all I can say, Will, thank you so much for an absolute amazing season. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be really good next season to see what happens. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for your for your fantastic commentary. Uh, looking forward to working with you next season. And, It'll be, uh, should be. As well. It should be absolutely amazing next season. We shall see what happens within, obviously, this, that season. And potentially it could be... Um, it will be potentially going to be very amazing to see what happens. I can't believe exactly this season. It's been highs, highs and lows of emotion. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens but um obviously um 
it will be very amazing. I'm going to see what's happening just quickly. They're all doing donuts at the moment, <laughs> which which you can play. And, 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 and even you're out there, um, but yeah. Uh, but fair play, guys. You know, uh, just a word from me uh, as, you, as your main lead commentator for this series. It, it's been great. You know, I do I do hope next season whatever happens is successful, and you know, it's now going to be very interesting because. The team game is now going to be happening, but obviously, I, I'm, I'm astounded to see exactly the highs and lows of a motorsport. And yes, it's it's been a great season. It has been potentially hard to judge certain things within um, certain times of commentary, but we've ha we've we've dealt with it. We've we've got through it. But you know, we've we've had our moments and. You know, everyone does it, but you know, fair play. And yet again, will hats off to you, mate. That's all I can say. And it's going to be it's going to be one of them. So I've been Hoppers, and Will's been alongside me as per usual all season. And it's going to be very amazing to see what happens next season. So I'm going to stop the stream here, and hopefully we will see you guys. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks see what happens so oh, take we'll care guys some... I'll let you do Thanks some we're going to have to we're going to have to see what goes on but uh, hopefully it should be good and yeah we'll see you next season guys Ta ra take care